I'll confess it. I'm starting to get tired of the Cybertruck. I'm struggling to remain cool calm. And collected this vehicle is just so cool, yes. I believe Tessa could do it. But at the same time, it's such a baddest vehicle. It almost felt too good to be true that citizens could legally own a product just this extreme. And yes, the stock price is at almost half the entire market cap of Ford just today because Tesla was able to make one Cybertruck in Texas. How's that for some perspective? Is it crazy that the market is pricing in the Cybertruck success? That extreme talking of Ford, they also dropped the price of their Lightning by about $10,000. And this stock is down 5% despite the Lightning accounting for about a third of a percent of Ford sales and about negative 2% of their earnings, although after this price drop perhaps that would now be negative 3% because everyone stopped ordering the Lightning now because they believe the Cybertruck is on the way probably not that there's anything wrong with the Lightning except perhaps the price is a bit too high and the range too low, which brings us to the Cybertruck. Where will that slot into the electric pickup trucks? Some of you in the market believe that Tesla must launch with the longest range possible, beating the Rivian's 400 miles, and that the Cybertruck could have a range of, say, 420 miles. After that, Tesla can charge whatever they want, even $100,000, and every single one will sell, making the gross profit margin enormous once rent is paid. However, that is only one route Tesla can take, and it appears to be another niche product from Tesla that can join the sex pile rather than a car for the masses. I believe that range is not going to be the primary factor that the market is looking for in the Cybertrack specs. After all, we all know that Tesla can get as much range as they want from this vehicle if they so choose, because Tesla continues to create expensive electric pickup trucks and breaks their promise that they would only cost $40,000. I believe that range is less significant and that Rivian is superfluous. I think the benchmark is the F-150 Lightning. And this might be why Ford have just lowered the price. They don't want Tesla to undercut the Lightning. The Lightning offers 230 miles of range and an extended range version with 320 miles using a 100 kilowatt hour battery and 130 kilowatt hours if Tesla do use 4680 sales, which I'm starting to think might be likely now if they're aiming for about this level of range. Then I think with 100 kilowatt hour battery, Tesla could be around 280 miles. And with 120 kilowatt hour battery, perhaps around 340 miles. And I believe there would be enough room in that battery pack for enough 4680 sales for those results. And I think that there is a good chance the Cybertruck could start at $69,420. Then you have the tax credit on top of that, taking it down to about $62,000. This is a great price for such an incredible car. And there will be plenty of people ready to buy. I know some of you are going to say that I'm wrong and don't understand that people need more range than that because they want to use it for towing ek. Well, these people might not buy this Cyberjack, and they will wait for a longer range version that I think will come out halfway through next year. Tesla likely don't have the energy density yet 4680 sales are as any dense as up sales unless the Texas sales have made a breakthrough and using silicon, which is a possibility, and perhaps Tesla stopped piling the sales for the Cybertrack. But I think Tesla will launch the long range version next year, when Panasonic's 48,000 680s are in production that do include silicon in the anode and get a better energy density, I hope I'm wrong, and that Tesla is making more progress with the Vortex 80s. However, I may be overly critical of the 4680 progress since it has clearly been a huge disappointment with big promises that haven't materialized. Eventually though, Tesla will likely boost the battery to 150 or 160 kilowatt hours and without having to double layer sales, will likely reach a range of over 400 miles. My guess is that the first Cybertruck to launch will be a dual motor with approximately 340 miles of range, 120 kilowatt hours, 40x80 battery that can go from zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds and cost approximately 69,000. The cost may possibly be less. It could only be $60,000 than that. I mean that's still going to be $10,000 more than Tesla said it would be for the dual motor on the Cybertruck reveal. And my guess is $20,000 more than that, but bear in mind the initial prices were announced before so much inflation. And the tax credit along with the insane number of pre-orders that Tesla received, but $60,000 is a possibility taking it down to a ridiculous $52,500 after tax credits, I mean if they decided to charge. An extra $10,000 more for the first 100 tracks. 
Then that's $1 billion extra gross profit, which might look good eventually, although margins will be negative anyway. For the first year or so, I think for the stock price, it will look much better if the price is lower, as it will give the market confidence that Tesla are getting their costs lower. Remember, it's all about what the vehicle will eventually cost to build. As no matter what Tesla charge eventually, when all the early adopters have paid their premium prices, the price needs to reset to the market price in order for it to sell so that Tesla's demand meets the supply. Why not start with a more realistic price and have a price war with Ford? Instead, if Tesla can start taking away from Ford, then that's going to be serious, not just the Lightning, of course, but the entire F-150, including ICE. The Lightning says the Lightning rod for now until Tesla starts going deeper and taking on Ford's ICE, their most profitable line remaining regardless of the price that Ford is starting at. They are in big difficulty here. War already, as I mentioned. Forget about Rivian. They're just coasting for the next two years until they go bankrupt. And if they can even manage to make a decent even, which may not be likely, Amazon might buy out their electric fan division. Regardless, Ford may be in serious trouble if sales of the F-150 start to decline, and Solum and Stellantis may experience significant declines in sales of their pickup trucks as well. The Cybertruck will be terrifying for them. Regardless, I believe it will be quite soon that Tesla genuinely provides us with these details regarding range price. It's been over four years since the reveal, so can you imagine what Tesla has been working on? With performance motors and a ton of additional features we haven't heard about yet that will blow us away, the stock price might skyrocket. Beyond reason, I'm not even sure if this will be a sell the news event, but the excitement might go on. I can see it reaching 350, and it might keep going. On top of that, Tesla might announce something significant, like the unveiling of Gen 3 or the breaking ground in Mexico, and more excitement will pour into the stock, pushing it to all-time highs quickly. Remember that I was the one who predicted that Tesla will reach 300 this year, back when the stock was only 160? Well, I think it might happen this year. Despite the seeming impossibility, I was able to understand this business and its true worth at if Tesla can sell 350 Cybertrucks a year and make 15 per vehicle, that's $5 billion a year. That's a ratio of 40 for the Cybertruck business. Actually, this isn't too out of order because we also get to include the SSD potential there along with the possibility that Tesla won't stop at 350 and PAX will go to 500 or 750 or more. Based too much on fundamentals when it came to the story, is it rational that the Cybertruck is probably priced at roughly 20 of Tesla's market cap, or roughly $200 billion, or four times forward? Although the Cybertruck is too large for most highways or parking lots outside of the U.S., it will still be popular everywhere. Therefore, it's possible that Tesla needs to create a smaller version, but that would require a new factory and more design, so I'm not sure that will ever happen. I believe Tesla will put more work into producing vehicles that sell for millions of dollars. For me, just seeing it on the line already, seeing the castings, and seeing it all really happen is exciting. I think this excitement will proliferate through to the market and it won't be able to help itself take Tesla to potentially new highs this year. There are also 4680 advancements that the track will benefit from as they become more affordable and empty dense than the Cybertruck. 